Hi, and welcome to our Facebook Live Come Crafting with Jill and Jez. I'm Jez. And I'm Jill. And we do a live crafting session on the first Saturday of every month in our Facebook group. So if you would like to join us live on our group, then pop over to Facebook and join us Come Crafting with Jill and All Jess. All right, so we are doing, um, we're looking at the online exclusives and um, one of the things in the online exclusives is the return of circle punches um i didn't buy these in the online exclusives i bought these when they were in the catalog years ago and i never get rid of my punches so that's why they're a little bit marked and a bit a little bit dirty because but well they're well used and well loved um online exclusives are really hard to find i think um on the online shop so whoever you shop with, um, go on to their online shop and you get sort of like menu options on the page and you can click, I think it's all products and you get a drop down mem menu and you can go to like papers, stamps, tools, whatever. And then about halfway down, I think it says online exclusives and you click on that and then they'll all come up in the main part of the shop um so so yeah um that's how i find them it did take me a long time to find them so so there we go um you can see my ipad there um i'm just trying to i'm just going to move it slightly because yeah because there might be people commenting they don't really want to be on um youtube when this goes on if i indeed put this on youtube okay so we've got a one and three quarter um circle punch and we've got a two inch punch so those are the ones that are in the online exclusive and in the brand new annual catalog we have a two and three eighths one which i had to buy because i've got all the circle punches so i had to get that one so i'm going to use these three circle punches and i'm going to do um uh a thing that lots of people have done um in the past and i never ever i never ever did it and i've always fancied doing it um and that's when you cut circles and you create this sort of clever little shape now this is my prototype and um this is from i've used colors from my one of my favorite sets of in colors we've got fresh frig fresh fig even tranquil tide and then in the middle we've got berry burst which of course has come back um so yeah so i made that and um i'm not making this card again um but I'm going to do this shape and show you how to do it. And I'm going all vintage, of course. Um, and um, you, um, oh, Sue's just put on there how you can go to Stampin' Up! forward slash online exclusives. Well done. Thank you. Um, sometimes they just don't make it easy. So I just played with shapes and I have made two vintage tags. Okay, using using that and you get it's a it's a it's a bog off it's a buy one you get one free a two for two for one that that you that you get so um for this one i use some edith holden some matte paper and some vintage music paper to create this um so let me let me bring the let me bring them in so the map for some color Edith Holden because her writing is just so so beautiful and um, I decided I'm not going to use music paper for this one I'm going to use some shorthand so this is one of my um, vintage books and just love shorthand I just thought that just would look a little bit interesting so I'm just gonna find the middle of this because I literally decided this whilst Jill was um, crafting. Um, I thought, oh, I'm going to use I'm going to use shorthand. So this is a sewn book because it's quite old. Um, so I'm just using a stitch ripper here. Oh, let's put your glasses down, Jess, so you can actually see. And um, just um, 
you know, well, you're not in the middle there, Jess. That's why you needed your glasses. So I'll just snip. Snip down. You kind of, there's less ruining of your pages when you, when you snip. You nearly had my eye out then. Sometimes they're just so tight, it's quite hard to get there. I don't mind the edges being a bit blur. See, and then they come out really, really easy. And then I can choose which which one's the most interesting. That'll do. I'm only going I only need two circles, so I don't know why I've pulled out all of them. Right, so what you do is cut two um, of each um So you need two circles, a big one and a little one of each. The middle size one um, will be the same on both um, both um, projects. So I chose the map to be the one on the inside because I felt that was where the pop of pop of colour was. So the middle size one is your one and three quarters. So I'm going to just use this here and punch two of these. Okay, and then for the other ones, for the large and the small, that's the small, you burk. <gasps> Do you know? So we need two two inches. There we go. We'll do that for another project. So that's the middle size one. You need two of that. So for the other circles, you need one each of the large and the small. OK, the reason will become apparent as I start putting through. Oh, how interesting is that? So one of those. And one of those. I might go down there. Oh well. Here we go. There. There. Okay, so a big one and a little one of that. And we want a big one and a little one of the lovely Edith. We need to cut down there because I'm too close. So big one. And the little one. There we go. Cooking on gas now. So that is. This is how we get the basis for our little shapes. So we want to cut each of them in half using my trimmer. When I made the card. I folded it in half and cut it and it was a bit rubbish so that's uh, so that's that so this is two and three eighths um, so you've got to go to the sort of the the halfway mark of two and three eighths which will be one and sort of three sixteenths so I'm just sort of judging it I'm just going to check comments swipe left go the wrong way Fab tags, thank you. So, going about there, want to be as precise as possible. And as this got writing on, I kind of want it to be a bit straight. There we go. They are pretty much okay. So, I'll do that one. That's a nice size. So, go there. Just sort of judging by the lines on my trimmer to get them done. It's much easier when you're working with the two inch because it's one inch. So you can see 
those two sort of resting on the, the one inch mark to get them cutting off. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, let's have a little bit of blue on that. That'll be nice. These were sort of designs, they messed with me head when I first saw them and I was like, I don't know how you did that. But once I tried it out, it was it was all right. So this is one and three quarters. So um, there, we're resting there at the at the halfway mark. Don't ask me what the measurement is. Because my brain's gone to mush. Do that one and that one. But they are sort of equidistance away from that one mark, which is good enough for me. There we go. That's that bit done. So then you want, so you've got a big one of those, a middle size map and a teeny tiny bit of um, Pitman script. Here we've got a large bit of Pitman script, or shorthand. We've got middle-sized map and a small Edith Holden. I'm going to use this one for that. Oh, I'm going to use. So this has got to go upside down underneath, underneath this. So that one is upside down. So we'll swap it for that one. So that's the only thing you've got to look out for is where. And we line them up on that side. And you kind of line them up together like that and that gives you your little flowiness so we can do that with the other one so we're going to have that one there that one there that one there and that one there that one there and that one there so if you're doing colors you don't have to worry about the orientation of the writing or whatever but that is how they're sort of put together and I decided that I would put them on the side to make tags I might do these ones as pocket fronts just to be a little bit different and of course I ink everything just looking at the time because that take I have already embossed so I might just do one of these but I just wanted to show you how you get two. I am using my new favourite brown so those of you who know me know that I used to always use soft suede and I loved it and there were a few people that sent me some condolences for the fact that it's retired um but this is big and pie and it's wonderful i love it and i love it because i can say big and pie because that is the only way to pronounce it so here we go i was i just lapsed of concentration there because i had a little look and see if i had any comments so Hazel, who's watching, found the clip from the film when Harry met Sally, where they do the whole peak and pie thing. And I mean, what? when was that film out? In the 80s? So literally, that's how I've said peak and pie for, well, too many years. I'm just such a saddo. There we go. So I just like them link inked. So then we just give them, we just glue them together. 
Get your glue out, Jez. Get your other glue pot because that one's driving me nuts. There we go. I've always say I love what she's having. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant film. Uh, there we go. So, obviously, if you're making a card, these would come together much, much quicker. I like the buy one, you get one free nature of it. Um, there's no reason why this, these couldn't be cards. Somebody in my Facebook group posted a card that um, they'd done all sort of junk journaling. And um, yeah, it's wonderful. I haven't yet sort of done that, but that's not to say I won't. I have a birthday card to send, it would seem. <laughs> I completely forgot about. <gasps> Useless. I've been so busy with all sorts of things. We're just, this is the first weekend I've had at home in a very, very long time. And um, I'm not going to be at home for the next, I don't know how many weekends. Right, so that's, that's that. Now, what I did to help me sort of play around with it and see how it would look, was I took a bit of sellotape, just ordinary communal garden sellotape, sticky tape. I very rarely buy actually sellotape. I buy whatever's, whatever I can get really. And, um, but I still call them sellotape because that's the, the name, isn't it? And then I just, Butt the two up together. Oh, not done that very well. There we go. So that's them stuck together like that. And then to sort of, I just sort of covered the join a bit here. So so it, you know, sort of helps with the illusion. So what I've done in preparation is I've taken a bit of crumb cake cardstock. That's crumb cake cardstock, even though it looks a bit of a different colour. And I've used one of my favourite embossing folders, um, Time Warm. And there's a new embossing folder in the new catalogue, which, which is going to come next week to me, called Exposed Brick. I can't wait to use that one. But this is um, Time Warm. Um, so I'm just going to trim the edges. So it's a six by six um, embossing folder. So I'll just cut that off. So I made this slightly shy of six by six So because I just used the one. This one I did cut, but this one is a little bit, a little bit less. Now, if I'm going to do this pocketed, I'm going to do it this way around. So let's cut it down to three that way. So there, I've got two pocket shapes. Just going to do the one for this. So I did a bit of um, inking. Like I'm trying to find me little, there it is, it's on the floor, Jess. On the floor. Excuse me, Ed. There we go. So, bit of peek and pie. I'd like to partake in your peek and pie. There we go. And that just picks up all the details in that embossing folder. Love it. And then we'll just go around the edges for good measure. Don't know how I'm doing for time. 
Oh, you've got about three minutes, Jess. That's what happens with your technical hitches. We run over. There we go. So that's that. And then I thought I might just stick that on for a pocket front. And then I just added little bits from my, my little fussy cut little box here to decorate. No, I haven't got anything ready. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. I want a wee ruler, actually. That would be nice, wouldn't it? So in here, I've got little rulers. They're all a bit thick. Oh, there's a little one. Yeah, we'll have that one. So that'll work lovely. So go down here. I do love mixing me vintage genuine stuff, digitals, all with me stamping up. It all enhances your crafting, I think. There we go. Nice ruler there. Just what I want. So, so I say that's about, you just sort of like grab something to just cover that up. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Love it. A little bit of Inking, take away the edge. Let's cut it off. Let's cut it off there at the 10 centimetre mark. Not very vintage, it being in centimetres, is it? I don't know. I always think inches is the is the old fashioned way. There we go, that'll do nicely. So, yeah, just sort of find something. I mean, when you're doing a card, you can cover it with your sentiment. That's what I did on the card, which I can't see right now because I've been crafting. There it is. So I just cut a little bit of the cardstock and put the sentiment in when I made the card. So we put that across there like so. Um, and then we'll add... We'll add things. What should we add? I added a paper doll to one and a butterfly. Let's do, should we do butterfly? Nice butterfly, I like that one. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we'll have a little butterfly on it. Coolio. And then a word. And actually, just before coming on camera, I created a whole sheet of words. I'm always looking for words. I used American typewriter font, which I thought was perfect. Just did a whole sheet in different in different sizes so that I can just choose something, inspire. That is what me and Jill do our lives for. We hope, we hope we inspire. So just going to cut it out. I printed it on white so that I could just do it in whatever in whatever colour I needed. So I can use my inks to add the colour. There we go. So there's that. Ink round the edges. Could have ripped. But I didn't think of that. There we go. And then we'll just come in with the brush. And now it looks all vintagey. I like that. I've got a little bit of randomness on my desk. Quite like that. I might put that behind. Yeah. Give it a bit of a rip. Coolio, and we'll stick that on there. That'll 
will do nicely Jess that will do nicely so that is and that'll be a nice pocket for a journal page going in my ever increasing things that I've made I might put it slightly off centre because actually that might need trimming down to go on a page just check on some comments am I missing any there we go nice um, give me butterfly a little I love this butterfly can't remember whose digitals these are from and some I source myself I recently used a load of blue butterflies that people kept going oh they're lovely and like yeah I just I just found them myself on Tinterweb but I know this is part of the digital so I'm going to go tuck you under there a little bit. We'll have you coming off there. Yep. And then we'll have you go in there. Yeah. Cooking on gas. This is like um, sewing pattern paper, except it's not a sewing pattern. It's just um, something that I found in one of my charity shops. I'm going to glue this down with glue stick because a bit like vellum, you want you don't want to see the glue, so sort of completely cover it in glue. It's only light. I think it'll be fine. Stick you on there. There we go. And we'll stick you on. That's not the glue pot I want to use. Anyway, it's the one you're using now, Jess. Here we are. Inspire. I hope you are. Inspired. That is the intention. So there we have it. That is. So that could be a journey card. Where's my little mopper upper? There it is, because I need a little bit of mop in there. Um, yeah, that's just one way of using those interesting designs could do it the other way up for a tag like I did there I then just backed it onto tea stained paper using my favorite very best trio punch to turn it into a tag and um, there we have it that is my little use your circle design things to create what fun so I've got, I can make another one of those now. Um, but yeah, hope that was good. So I'll just come back up now. Thank you for watching. Um, now, why don't you go, there's a link down below and you can pop across and see what, what Jill has made um, during the live as well. And uh, why don't you join us on our Facebook group next time? Okay, bye for now. Bye.